Welcome to the Atlanta 2022 Showcase Day, coming to you from the world headquarters of Coca-Cola. Thanks for joining us for this exciting first track representing some amazing Southeast companies. My name is Emily Keeley, the Managing Director of SKU. SKU was first started in Austin, Texas 10 years ago, and when CPG leaders and investors set out to create an Atlanta cohort, we were excited about the opportunity to bring our groundbreaking accelerator model to help support this region's emerging brands. And we were welcomed with open arms. These founders worked hard during the rigorous 12-week program, diving deep into every aspect of their business, all while running their companies. It's not easy, and these founders certainly have what it takes. As we like to say here at SKU, it's like getting your PhD in CPG. In addition to weekly classes on topics ranging from innovation, sales strategy, and raising money, they work with a hand-picked team of mentors who spend several hours a week providing them with everything they need to scale quickly. And it's our mentors who truly make SKU special. We call them the secret sauce of what SKU, well, SKU. The more than 60 mentors for SKU Atlanta include some of the best in the business. They are CPG executives, successful founders, investors, and experts in all areas of CPG. Introducing SKU Atlanta 22. Hi, I'm Scott Marcus, a brand advisor and longtime SKU mentor. I've worked with food brands for 20 years, and after hearing the Noble Burger story, I just needed to work with them during this SKU track. I immediately became a fan of their commitment to real food ingredients, distinct brand, and enthusiastic founders. Chrisanne Raymond and her daughter Elizabeth have built Noble Burgers from a family recipe to a national brand without losing any of the passion and care they brought to their very first burger patty. Chrisanne and Elizabeth complement each other's skills, challenge one another, and have continued to grow through the SKU track, quickly applying new learnings. I've personally witnessed the Noble Founder team handle adversity, as well as prepare for significant expansion, and I'm thrilled to have partnered with the Raymonds as they take this brand to new heights. And that's Noble. Hi, my name is Chrisanne. And I'm Elizabeth. Our company is Noble Burger, the true veggie burger. Plant-based, has gone mainstream. 83% of Americans are now filtering more plant-based foods into their diets. Sales for meat alternative category reached 1.4 billion in 2021. There has never been a more exciting time for plant-based foods. But if you look a little closer, you will find that many of the meat alternatives claiming to be healthy are made with highly processed, modified, adulterated ingredients so far removed from the actual plant. Consumers are catching on. People are reading their ingredient labels. Consumers are demanding more authentic, cleaner ingredients in the foods they consume. We believe consumers deserve better. This company actually started out as a lifestyle product long before it was trendy. As a young mom and chef seeking to feed my family a healthier diet, the issue remained the veggie burgers in the marketplace were terrible. So I made it my mission to make a better veggie burger. I was inspired by my mom's lentil soup recipe in which I created the original No Bull Burger. Over the years, people would always comment how good they were, especially for a veggie burger. We realized we had something special. So my daughters and I set up shop in 2011 and we have made it our mission to help people eat as close to the earth as possible. No Bull puts the plant back into plant-based, sporting eight to 10 grams of protein per burger. The base of this veggie burger is organic lentils. We filter in organic brown rice, quinoa, chunks of organic spinach, caramelized onions, and various roasted vegetables to make a true farm-to-table product. Gone are the days of sketchy ingredients in your veggie burger, such as pea protein isolate, soy isolate, or wheat gluten, no added oils or fillers, just whole food, real food. With Noble Burger's superior ingredient profile, bold, savory flavor, and genius branding, I might add, Noble has five unique flavors to offer. Something for everyone. But more importantly, these veggie burgers taste amazing. And people love us. We've been called a revelation. The best veggie burger on the planet. The Rolls Royce of veggie burgers. We have a dedicated fan base throughout the nation, ranging from avid meat eaters to committed vegans, with flexitarians driving this category. 
Noble is the next generation veggie burger well positioned to disrupt the fake meat category. We've come a long way since our early days at the farmer's markets to now partnering with top retailers and restaurants throughout the nation, as well as key national distributors. We've participated in nationally accredited accelerators, gaining insight, education, and network support, as well as being awarded as a finalist for the world's best meat alternative category with the World's Plant-Based Association just last year. There are big things ahead. We are so excited to announce that Noble Burger is being launched nationally with Whole Foods as we speak, which is opening up national distribution with UNFI. We're also gearing up to launch with the national e-tailer platform Hunger Root in June. And of course, supporting all of this expansion with velocity-driven marketing support and branding enhancements. With healthy financials and gross margins, we have a strong trajectory of growth ahead that will be supported by increased velocity focus, distribution expansion, food service programs, and innovation to the product line and flavors. And it won't stop there. As we mentioned earlier, plant-based isn't going anywhere. The market opportunity is huge with over 100 million households eating plant-based. There's massive potential for millions to enjoy no bull. We're focused on building out our team and we have the support behind us. In addition to Chrisanne, AKA my mom, and myself, we have Scott Marcus, former CMO of Vital Farms, to lead us through this initial growth phase, as well as an impressive list of CPG industry leaders as mentors, and the entire SKU network cheering us on. We also work closely with our team of committed investors and advisors. It's an exciting time for Noble Burger, and we invite you on this wild ride of putting the plant back into plant-based. I've had the pleasure of working with Lars, the founder of Up To Good, a unique and great tasting functional energy pop. In the past 30 years, I've worked on several successful beverage brands, Coca-Cola, Dasani Water, Monster Energy, and a lot of smaller brands like Illy Ready To Drink Coffee and Up and Comer Tip Top Cocktails. My knowledge of consumer trends and beverage brands have me convinced that Up To Good, its product, its branding, and its execution will lead to success. In 12 weeks of collaboration, I've gotten a great feel for Lars as a founder too. He's super impressive, mature, organized, methodical, and decisive. He's action-oriented, drives continuous improvement, and has no fear of bold changes. He's steadfast in his commitment to quality. In terms of hard and soft skills, he's as complete a package as I have seen in a founder. So I'm confident he will continue to lead this company through challenges and position it to capture the huge opportunities this market has to offer. Lars, take it away. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Lars, and I'm founder of Up To Good. We are an Atlanta-based startup producing a healthy pop based on the goodness of upcycled coffee fruit. Our sparkling beverage is part of this new generation of functional pops that offer mindful indulgence with added benefits. We are the pop of happy in every can. Up to Good provides an escape of traditional soda and mainstream energy drinks, minus the guilt that is often attached. It's a feel-good product, a totally natural pop with a much cleaner take on the energy drink. We like to think of ourselves as a conduit for good, making something beneficial out of something considered trash. We are starting with this line of sparkling energy pops but we already have our ideas to extend our portfolio to other food and beverage products, always making up to good use of upcycled raw materials. 21% of fresh water goes to food that is wasted. Why? And 40% of all food is discarded. Isn't that mind boggling? But the coffee farming industry is even more destructive. It takes 37 gallons of water to produce one cup of coffee and a tremendous amount of coffee fruit is discarded, 70 billion pounds a year. We are doing our part to put a stop to this. Our mantra is, less waste means good taste. Not only are we upcycling a perfectly fine ingredient, but we also help farmers save water by switching to the dry coffee process. Through direct trade, we provide additional income for farmers and for you, we're producing a beverage that is refreshing and energizing. Cascara is made from the dried husk of the coffee fruit. It's that stuff surrounding the coffee beans. 
When brewed, it tastes more like an herbal tea. We add bubbles to up the refreshing factor and other natural goodies to capture a flavorful experience. Our pops are low in calories and low in sugar. Each can of Up to Good contains 70 milligram of clean caffeine, naturally occurring from the cascara. The retail price is $2.99 to $3.49, which is in line with other functional beverages. Now is the time for functional healthy soda. The category is quickly evolving with startup brands. It draws in consumers from flavored waters and other bubbly beverages. While most other brands claim pre and probiotic functional benefits, Up to Good stands out with a focus on clean energy and the benefit of doing something good to the planet by upcycling. Our brand is aligned with the ideals of the modern lifestylist. That consumer is health conscious, progressive, and concerned about environmental issues. Consumers who check these boxes are typically young and live actively. Our product is available nationwide via e-commerce. In the Southeast, we target natural retailers and independent food stores, as well as channels offering grab-and-go food options. Our team began with myself and Greg Fleischmann, a natural food guru. I have 22 years of international experience in the food and beverage industry myself. Operations are supported by Kendra, who handles marketing, and Jörg, who acts as the middleman between us and the farmers in Costa Rica. We also have tremendous support from our invested advisors, who are all related to the food and beverage industry. Some even in the sectors of coffee, soda, energy drinks, and upcycling. We kicked off in 21 with a few stores to test first acceptance. Now using this experience, we are operating and manufacturing from our home base in Atlanta and are building our market in the growing Southeast cities. We start off with a 35% gross margin, knowing that once we scale, we will be able to hit 55 to 60%. In the first years, we are focusing on growth in brand awareness, sales and distribution, leading to a break even in 25. Now it is your chance to shape an up to good future with us. With your support, we will catalyze the next generation of functional pop with this new take on clean, sustainable energy. So what's up now? Are you in to something good? Cheers and thanks for your support. Hi, I'm George Bryson. I've been in consumer products for 25 years with experience at Fiji Water, Target Stores, and several CPG startups, including my own beverage line. When I first met Pauline Indogo, founder of Mocktail Club, I was taken by her story. It's not often you meet an investment banker who takes the leap into a beverage startup. Pauline has created a sophisticated line of non-alcoholic cocktails influenced by her international travels with flavors such as Havana Twist, Manhattan Berry, Capri Spritz, and Bombay Fire. She's already locked in influencer accounts, Whole Foods, Erewhon and Giant, and several leading distributors. Plus, she's made Oprah's O-List. Her personal story for why she created Mocktail Club and her commitment to this category make her a force in the booming mocktail movement. It's been amazing working with Pauline and watching her build her business. And I, along with her SKU mentor team, are excited to see her rocket forward. Hi, my name is Pauline Doha, and I'm the founder of Mocktail Club. The concept came about when I was pregnant, celebrating with colleagues, and I realized there was nothing great for me to drink. I still wanted to take part in my social events and enjoy the ritual and indulgence of an adult beverage without sacrificing flavor. I wanted something healthy, sophisticated, and non-alcoholic, but the options in the market were underwhelming. And that is why I started Mocktail Club. We recreate the complexity, nuance, and boldness of a great cocktail without the alcohol, we use better for you and clean ingredients, such as superfruits and prebiotics, so your drink works for you. We have a unique approach in modern take in our cocktails. Each flavor is inspired by my travels to over 30 countries. I'm originally from Nigeria, went to high school in London, and worked in global finance, including at the World Bank. So each flavor reflects memories, sights, and sounds that are bottled up to create a taste experience. We use multiple ingredients to create that perfect mixologist touch with a great balance of tart, savory, sweet, and bitter notes.
Havana twist is like a reimagined mojito with cucumber, mint, lime, and cardamom and cloves. And the feeling we evoke is summer on a tropical beach. Bombay Fire is made with pomegranate tea, chili peppers, and has a back-end spicy heat that is closer to the warmth of an old-fashioned bourbon cocktail. Manhattan Berry is made with blackberry, pear shrub, and ginger, and tastes like a reimagined berry meal. Caprice Fritz is made with pomegranate, cranberry, lemongrass, and hint of bitter, and tastes similar to an Aperol Spritz. The non-alcoholic sector is booming and is expected to grow to $30 billion by 2025, far outpacing the stagnant alcohol market. VCs, celebrities, and large alcohol companies have taken notice. In the last year, VCs have invested over $100 million to this sector. The sector is showing similar trends to other hot categories, such as plant-based meat and milk. Almost 70% of the consumers purchasing no to low alcohol still drink full strength alcohol, but are focused on moderation. People are choosing to moderate for many reasons, including exercise goals, wellness, staying sharp for the next day at work, or balancing home life with children. In addition to our international flavors, many key factors set us apart. One, we have complex and balanced flavors that mimic key elements of a great cocktail with a fun and approachable brand. Two, we have functional digestive benefits as we use apple cider vinegar. Three, we can be consumed by anyone at any time of day as we don't contain any additional stimulants. And four, our social impact. We give 1% of our sales to provide clean water access in developing countries through our partnership with Water for People. We've built an omni-channel platform that is well positioned to capture the immense growth in this category. Through mostly organic growth, our e-commerce platform now ships to 49 states and 10% of our sales are for monthly subscribers. We're sold on Amazon, GoPuff, and Fair. On the retail side, we're selling to natural food stores who are pioneering the non-alcoholic movement, such as Whole Foods and Erewhon. We're working with distributors such as Kehi that are already seeing the demand for non-alcoholic sets from retailers. And we're supplying a growing number of thriving non-alcoholic bottle shops across the nation. On the food services side, we sell to restaurants, hotels, and Fortune 500 companies such as Microsoft, which helps drive trial and adoption. We've been able to partner with key regional and national distributors and expect to get into 450 doors this year and over 1,000 doors by 2023. Beyond our current offering, we plan to build a comprehensive line of products focused on indulgence, bliss, and the active lifestyle. We have a velocity of 12 to 15 cans sold each week per door. We tripled our revenues in 2021 and expect to make over 400,000 this year and over 2 million in 2023. Our gross margin is expected to increase from 30% to 50% in 2024 as we benefit from reduced can costs at scale and other procurement efficiencies. Customers love us. 90% of our ratings online are five stars. One of our most touching reviews stated, Mocktail Club has been part of why I'm still sober. I'm so grateful every day. We've also received great press. We were featured in Oprah's favorite things list and spoke in NPR about the non-alcoholic industry. We also won a Black Ambition Prize given by the celebrity Pharrell Williams, which was part grant and equity. The prize was given to transformational, scalable, and fast growth companies led by Black and Latinx founders. Our team is ready to take Mocktail Club national. We're one of the first RTD mocktails in the non-alcoholic sector. I have 18 years of business and banking experience. I'm also a founding executive board member to the Adult Non-Alcoholic Beverage Association with global chapters. Monty has over 30 years of operational and beverage experience, including from Coke. Mai has 20 years of accounting and finance experience with Fortune 500 companies. We also have an experienced advisory team, including our SKU mentors with strong beverage marketing and retail experience from Honest Tea, Coke, Fiji, and other establishments. Thank you for your time, and let's redefine the social drinking experience together. Hi, I'm Matthew Mitchell, 
a long-term investor in the food and beverage space, having spent 20 years at the Coca-Cola company, and now leading my own angel investment firm. I'm here today to introduce you to Kevin Bratcher of Beyond the Equator. This is a company playing in the very large and fast-growing plant-based nutrition space. They are leveraging the power of the mighty, mighty seed to develop a variety of products that we can use every day. But as investors, we know that it's not just about the product that defines success, but it's the people that make it happen. Having worked with Kevin and his co-founder, Andres, for the past four months, I can tell you I'm incredibly impressed at their fast pace of learning. They've planted seeds of knowledge, and now they're ready to grow their products by executing and accelerating their strategies. This is one to watch. I can't wait to see where they go. And this is Beyond the Equator. Imagine a plant-based ingredient as nutritionally dense as meat and dairy, but only being consumed by 29% of the population. I'm Kevin Bratcher, co-founder of Beyond the Equator, a company entirely focused on the power of seeds. Most of us generally accept seeds as healthy. In fact, 98% of people believe they are. Yet only 29% of people eat seeds on a regular basis. Consumers are constantly looking for simple, clean, and nutrient-dense products to fuel their daily lives. So why aren't they turning to seeds? Because seeds are not in an accessible and easy to use format. We know the mighty seed has the power to go beyond how it's being consumed today. For decades, consumers have been turning to nuts for their plant-based nutrition. Almonds dominate this market, yet we know almonds are unsustainable with regards to water usage and are a tree nut allergen. As allergens become more common, we see school districts banning nut-based products altogether, affecting 35% of school districts nationwide. We believe that seeds are better for both consumers and the environment and have the power to be the go-to ingredient of the future. Seeds are the opportunity. They are nutritionally dense powerhouse ingredients that can better provide the sustainable and accessible nutrition consumers are seeking. You can see the seeds we use here and all of them pack a nutritional punch well above their weight. We've harnessed this power and are using the incredible versatility of seeds to create products you can easily use every single day and feel great about using. We ensure consumers have a way of enjoying their incredible health benefits throughout the day with a smoothie in the morning, a quick snack for their kids after school, or a delicious baked good after dinner. We do this with three easy to use product lines. One, we create convenient seed shakers so consumers can easily top their smoothies, salads, and yogurts with our healthy seeds and blends. Two, we use unique processing capabilities to create seed butters that are packed with protein and free from the top eight allergens, most notably peanuts and tree nuts. And three, we finely mill superfood seeds into flours that allow for low carb and gluten-free baking. Beyond the Equator's product lines fall into three growing markets and target powerful groups of consumers who actively seek our kind of products. First, the food allergy market, which is a $22 billion market growing at 5% annually. Second, the gluten-free paleo or keto lifestyle diets, which is a $5.7 billion market growing at over 8% annually. And third, those who are currently consuming nuts and seeds, which is a $64 billion market growing at just over 5% annually. All of these markets are growing alongside the plant-based movement, which is expected to be a $78 billion market by 2025. Our products solve problems in each of these three key markets. My partner Andres spent the last seven years operating over 10,000 acres of farmland in Bolivia, while I cultivated a network of partnerships to bring our seeds to market. Our team are first and foremost farmers. We understand the hard work that goes into feeding the world and that these seeds are mission critical to doing just that. We believe in this so much, we are in the process of creating a philanthropic program to make sure we are taking care of farmers and their businesses. So we understand the product from seed to table and the consumers who seek them out. But some of you must be wondering, what do our customers think? Here are just a few reviews of our Beyond the Equator products. We're proud to say that so far, we've effectively reached each of these core consumers. We have the systems and structure in place to scale our products and gain serious momentum in, in these growing markets. Our sales have continued to grow over the past three years, and we are projecting another 34% growth this year. We are currently operating on a gross margin of 55% and expect that to grow as we enjoy economies of scale on the manufacturing side and more efficient logistics. The average order value on our website has been increasing month over month for the past year, as consumers are coming to buy one pack and coming back to buy two packs and six packs. This shows that our products are resonating with our buyers. 
We have a retail presence in 1,200 stores nationwide and plan to focus on expanding our presence in the Northeast and with select national retailers for the rest of this calendar year. We're developing marketing programs and tools to help our fans use our products on a daily basis and truly incorporate our brand into their lives. We've always believed in the power of seeds and how they have the unique opportunity to sustainably feed the world. We hope today we've convinced you to see beyond what you thought a seed was capable of and join us on our mission to bring Beyond the Equator to as many households as possible. Hi, I'm Jamari Pinkard, CEO and co-founder of The Helicopter Company and SKU Mentor. And I'd love to introduce you to the charismatic founder of Holmes Mouthwatering, Ethan Holmes. I've had the pleasure of working closely with Ethan over the past few months and have watched him and his continued progress. Homeless mouthwatering joined SKU with a ton of press and momentum, but a bit of uncertainty about refining brand position and honing in on channel strategy. Through this process of focused classes, weekly sessions with dedicated mentors, and a serious commitment to the business he believes in, it is clear that Homeless Mouthwatering has an unwavering mission of providing great tasting products and a passion around community empowerment. Ethan's best qualities are his relentless work ethic and personal approach to creating memorable product experiences in the face of big competition. With new and exciting flavors, a refocused brand, and a sharpened channel strategy, I invite you to the vision that is Homeless Mouthwatering. The apple. Far more than just any old fruit, the apple is part of the fabric of this country. As American as apple pie, it's an object of affection. You're the apple of my eye. We give apples to teachers to win their approval and eat one a day to keep doctors away. But this isn't a story only about apples. It's about potential, innovation, and social entrepreneurship. My name is Ethan Holmes. I'm 28 years old from Cleveland, Ohio, and I am the founder and CEO of Holmes Mouthwatering Applesauce, an all-natural home-style applesauce brand on a mission to change the world. Now, I'm sure there are a few burning questions in your mind while watching this right now. What is Holmes Mouthwatering and why applesauce? Well, Holmes Mouthwatering is a premium, socially conscious brand inspiring people to taste the difference of healthier habits by featuring homemade tastes that are both simpler ingredients and nourishing benefits. I founded the company in 2008 at the age of 15 years old after growing up with a huge interest in entrepreneurship. My grandfather first showed me how to make applesauce. I then spent a year in my mom's kitchen innovating the recipe. At one point, even asking my parents for a bin of apples for Christmas. And I can remember going back to school after break and everyone's like, oh, Ethan, what'd you get for the holiday? And I'm like, apples? Oh, like an iPad or iPhone? And I probably grinned and said, no, the fruit. And that's how dedicated I was, eventually perfecting it to only include golden delicious apples, fresh pears, cooked in apple cider, the same recipe we use to this day. Since the early 1990s, the applesauce category has been labeled sleepy and lacking innovation. Top brand GoGo Squeeze introduced a major splash in the category with the launch of the Squeeze Pouch. But since then, category innovation has remained flat, consisting of lower quality products, added sugars, bland flavors, and faceless brands. Applesauce is being used primarily for snacking, meal pairing, and can be a substitute in baking. Applesauce shoppers are looking for products that taste good, that are free of added sugars, and have a fair price. Packaging, convenience, and no spill is equally as important, with pouches being the number one applesauce package type on Amazon. Today, all of our products are manufactured by our team in Cleveland, Ohio, sourcing local apples and ingredients. We currently offer six SKUs available in three flavors and two package types. We have an average retail price of $4.99 in 300 plus retail locations. Over the years, we've experienced an array of manufacturing options, continuing to scale our formulas, improve capabilities, and annual capacity. In order to be more competitive and focus our efforts on growth, we are proud to introduce the new and improved Holmes Mouthwatering, a brand that is merely more than just applesauce for kids, but a movement appealing to all ages. Designed by global branding agency Moxie Sozo, for the past two years, we've invested our time and money in developing a new line of products, starting with a convenient, 3.2 ounce pouch of applesauce. These pouches will be available in packs of four, 10, 12, and single serve, and contract manufactured by a larger applesauce producer. The new products are complete remakes of our current applesauce and allow us to have added attributes such as kosher, non-GMO, and organic. The products provide a higher margin as we scale, have only eight grams of sugar, four simple ingredients, and 50 calories per serving. 
nearly 40% less than our competition. We are currently finalizing the packaging and development and expect our new product line to be available for sale through our website by October 2022. Did you know there's an average of five to eight seeds in an apple? And if planted, those seeds can grow into an orchard waiting to flourish. And I believe the same goes for people. Inside all of us are seeds that can grow into something extraordinary. And that's why I created the Homes Entrepreneur Initiative in 2015, dedicated to teaching students entrepreneurship through internships, workshops, and activities. And we are proud to have worked with and presented to thousands of students over the years and bring a cause to the category. In addition to a product line relaunch, we have plans of developing the first Homes Mouthwatering Community Center by 2024 a hub for our social programs over the years, providing jobs, resources, and healthy food items to inner city communities. Starting with an opportunity zone here in Cleveland, Ohio, this center will serve as an office for our brand, community classroom, and manufacturing space to make and sell healthy food products at cost to food banks and community programs. The global applesauce market is expected to reach 1.3 billion by 2025 but with majority of those sales coming from the United States. Consumers are inclining more towards a healthy lifestyle and are looking for food items that have potential health benefits. Our top competitors in the U.S. are brands such as Mott's, a global leader in the market and household name. Muscleman's, a farmer-owned brand with national distribution and go-go squeeze, a convenient child-focused applesauce brand. What makes Holmes mouthwatering different is our focus on real fruit ingredients, home-style taste, creative flavors, and uplifting our community. From an applesauce to applesauce comparison, our nutritional value is superior, lower calories and sugars in the competition, and a homestyle texture within our products that won't make you feel like you're eating soup or baby food. It's made with real chunks of fruit and a nice blend of smoothness in each bite. In fact, judging our applesauce against another is like comparing apples to, well, oranges. Our projected retail distribution plan is based on balancing velocity with our door count reaching new areas with our rebranded products as well as expanding more in direct-to-consumer channels, grab-and-go C-stores, and food service. We plan to target the following list of retailers over the next 24 months, strategically focusing on select regions, distributor warehouses, and brokers such as Green Spoon Sales, UNFI, Rainforest, and Kehi. To date, our current growth objectives have been on operations and building a strong infrastructure to scale. Our plans for 2022 have been to maintain our motto in Cleveland, Ohio, and begin the transition of outsourcing our production. We are finalizing the development of our new products and expect them to launch by October. 2023 will serve as a big year for us to gain momentum in key accounts, launch additional SKUs, and improve our community efforts. We are projecting 2,800 doors by the end of 2023, with sales of 800,000. By 2024, we'll be expanding our distribution, introducing additional product lines, begin to reach profitability and revenue of $2 million. We are proud to have created partnerships with many great entrepreneurs and advisors over the years and have been featured in various publications for our story, social mission, and mouthwatering products. A special, special thank you to my SKU mentors for your countless hours and dedication working with me and my company. Thank you for the opportunity to present my brand to you. Please feel free to email me if you're interested in learning more or visit us on the web at homesmouthwatering.com. Thank you. Hi, I'm Scott Jensen, former co-founder and CEO of Stubbs Barbecue and current co-founder and CEO of Rhythm Superfoods. I love consumer products and have a deep respect for founders that start these companies. I've been a mentor to Nicholas Gregory of Pulp Flavors for the past four months with an incredible team of SKU mentors. Having co-founded a sauce company myself, I was super excited to share my history and knowledge with Nick. Nick knows peppers. In fact, he's truly the Willy Wonka of peppers. From his humble Kansas family farm roots to his culinary chef history, he brings a seed to plate knowledge and a get it done attitude to his young and revolutionary company. Wait until you try his sauces. Nick has created something very innovative, scalable, and right in the bullseye of where the food industry is moving. He produces incredibly flavorful, fresh, and fermented pepper sauces. Yes, I said fresh and fermented. You buy them in the refrigerated produce section of a supermarket. Since the beginning of the shelf-stable food industry, hot sauces have been pretty much the same without innovation in the center of the store. 
But Nick has changed all that. His process of innovation creates a sauce that is the best expression of a pepper possible. They're incredible on everything, and I mean everything. These products are truly remarkable. And the founder is one of the hardest working guys I've ever met. Like, that's a pretty good recipe for success. Investors, consumers, meet Nick Gregory and Pulp Flavors. Hello, my name is Nicholas Gregory, founder of Pulp and proud pepperhead. What is a pepperhead? Most people think of that crazy heat-loving person who confidently accepts any challenge to eat the hottest thing possible. You probably know one of these people. But that's not me. I'm the other kind. I have been a pepper lover for as long as I can remember. Yes, I do enjoy the heat, but to me, there is so much more. I love everything about them. The colors, the shape, the plant, the way they smell, and most of all, the flavor. How could something so small pack such a punch? Being a pepper fan, I am naturally attracted to hot sauce, but growing up in the Midwest, we only had the standards to choose from. I've always wondered why doesn't hot sauce taste like peppers and what do they mean by made with real peppers? Through culinary school and my time on the West Coast and the farm to table movement, I learned why these sauces are the way they are, but I knew there was plenty of room for innovation. But what about the process could change? It wasn't until I moved back to Kansas to start my farm that it all clicked. I started experimenting with fermentation methods to preserve my abundant pepper crops and create my own style of sauce. Introducing Pulp, a pepper-focused condiment company showcasing the power of the pepper, located right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Our chef-minded approach to ingredient selection and production processes set us apart. We offer a wide range of raw, naturally fermented pepper sauces. Being the mad scientist that I am, I developed a proprietary method of fermenting peppers with a few other ingredients that allows us to preserve our products without cooking. We rely on salt, vinegar, and refrigeration for preservation. I developed a sauce that is as close as you can get to tasting fresh peppers in a bottle. Do our sauces last forever? No, they aren't supposed to. A couple of years ago, I was asked by some good friends to try making a local chili crisp. My wife and I tasted every available option on the market and a pattern started to emerge. They all tasted salty, heavy, dead, and overcooked. I saw an opportunity to create my own version with modern consumers in mind. Dozens of test batches later, we had lightning in a bottle. It quickly became one of our hottest selling products. In my research for Chili Crisp, I learned about salsa seca and salsa matcha from central Mexico, a beautiful blend of dried chilies and seeds and oil. When people wanted a more mild version of Chili Crisp, I began to develop my own. It has quickly become a beloved addition to our product line. What do we do with all the waste from our production? We don't have any waste. Our company's core values are a reflection of my own. I am a frugal person and I don't like to waste anything. We have become a zero waste company, meaning we use everything. We are able to create revenue streams from the byproducts created during our production processes. Our chili oil comes from our chili crisp process and we dry and grind the solids from our pepper mash to create a probiotic chili powder. Where does my frugal mentality come from? I grew up in a restaurant family and I've spent my professional career in the food industry. I have seen many innovations during that time. I feel the time is right for condiments. Conscious consumers are craving changes in the category. Fresh, healthy, and flavorful have become requirements. We are living in the fresh movement, the movement of traditionally shelf-stable products from the center aisles toward the perimeter of the store, from stale and lifeless to fresh and vibrant. The major factors driving this movement are consumers' needs for fresh, sustainable, clean, plant-based foods. In the last year alone, 81% of retailers reported increases in perimeter sales, proving that given the opportunity, consumers will choose the fresher, higher quality, better tasting option. Prominent hot sauce brands on the market are cooked because they rely on pasteurization and preservatives for longer shelf lives and thickeners for stability. I have found an opportunity in the fresh fermented pepper forward quadrant where pulp can thrive without competition. Hot sauce sales are at an all-time high, and they are not going anywhere. Hot sauce is so hot, it has entered the mainstream. With cultural phenomenons such as Hot Ones and their line of sauces, many celebrities are starting their own hot sauce brands. We find ourselves in the middle of these three massive markets, creating a huge opportunity for us. Our pepper sauces fall into the hot sauce category, of course, and the fermented foods market, primarily made up of yogurt and kombucha, show that there is a market for people who prioritize fresh and probiotic. Our chili crisp, oil, and matcha fall into the global flavors market, primarily made up of spices and flavors from Southeast Asia, Central, and South America. So, where in the United States can you find us? All over. The hobby I started nearly 10 years ago has grown into a line of products that can be found in neighborhood markets around Atlanta, across the Southeast through distributors such as P10 Foods, and across the United States, and even Europe with online marketplaces such as fair.com. 
We have an established e-commerce business and a plan to grow substantially in the coming months. Where have we been and where are we going? Well, we did $110,000 last year, doubling every year since we started production. We plan to finish strong this year with the news that we will be entering into three regions and 78 Whole Foods stores starting in October. We see our trend of doubling in sales continuing over the next three years, but that could easily accelerate with the help of some strategic investment. We have a fantastic team helping me make my dream come true. And a special thank you to the SKU Mentor team for helping to guide me through this process. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. My name is Michelle Breyer and I'm the CMO at SKU. We really hope you enjoyed these pitches and that you got to know these incredible brands and the founders behind them. If you are the founder of a brand who would like to scale or a CPG leader who would love to mentor, please reach out. At SKU, we will continue our mission to support the household brands of tomorrow. Big thank you to our key partners, Craft Catalyst, Goods and Services, and Silver Falcon Partners. And a special thanks to our lead sponsor, Coca-Cola, who really made us feel at home here in Atlanta. Three, that's not the right three. <laughs> three, okay, okay. Sorry. And I have... Answer again. And long-term, long, man, already? Long, not long-term, long time. Peter Piper pick a, pick the pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a we, we, yeah. I am so incredible. Do you work with your mom? You work with your brother. You work with your brother, yes. The products provide, uh, nah, so much. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, plum. Okay, one more time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, Peter Piper was a pack of pickled peppers who loved pulp. <laughs> Pepperhead who loved pulp. There we go. <laughs>